Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Gracie D. I hope you guys are doing amazing. I'm doing great here in Nairobi, Kenya, the pride of Africa, the home of safaris, the jewel of East Africa, and of course, the only country in the whole world with a national park in the middle of the city. Yeah, that is Nairobi National Park. My good name is Grace for those who are watching me for the first time. I do travel content creation on this channel, trying to showcase African countries and of course showcasing the development and the positive side of Africa. Also traveling the whole world for, you know, just new experiences and new cultures. So if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please consider subscribing and if you clicked to this video and you haven't yet liked the video please consider giving a video a like yeah so on today's episode we're going to talk on the dawns of visiting kenya for those of you who don't know kenya kenya is a country in east africa with coastline on the indian ocean it encompasses savannah lakelands great lift valley and mountain highlands also home of wildlife with a big five like that would be so amazing to experience that from nairobi the capital safaris visit masai mara reserve known for its annual wild beast migrations and ambassador national park offering views of tanzanians mount kilimanjaro like, yeah there are so many things that would make you want to visit kenya and have this experience like why not you want to see the big fives then kenya is the place to be you want to experience the wild beast migration then kenya is the place to be you want to visit a snake park and you are a lover of snakes then this is the place to be you want to go and feed some giraffes take photos and videos for memories then Kenya is the place to be and that's why on today's episode we are going to talk on the don'ts of visiting Kenya. Of course, I don't want you to have a bad experience when you're visiting my country and I don't want your happiness cut short because you found on the wrong side when you are enjoying. Of course, we all go for vacations to for enjoyment, to relax. So I want to make the experience smooth for you as I can. So I'm trying my best to give you on the don'ts of visiting kenya if you haven't yet liked the video let me remind you again please like subscribe if you haven't for you to be notified always put on your notification bell we always premiere our videos 9 30 p.m kenyan time and yeah we're just trying to be posting every single day it's not easy but we're working towards it so on the number one of the don'ts of visiting kenya is there is not plastic bags like kenya banned plastic bags like a while ago and i know especially like for the backpackers maybe you've been traveling like you want you taking an east africa tour and of course maybe you've used some of your clothes or some of your shoes and you want to separate them from your clean stuffs make sure you don't pack them in a plastic bag because when you get at the airport or sometimes at the port of entry, whichever port of entry that you coming in through, you might end up losing or leaving your stuff at the port of entry, maybe because you don't want to carry them in your hands or because your bag is so full or you don't want to mix them. Or even like if you find some officers that love harassing people, they might harass you for that. So for you not to be on the wrong side, make sure that you don't bring anything in plastic bags here in Nairobi, Kenya, because it's illegal. Number two is gonna be do not shoot around prohibited areas. So especially when you are in CBD and other parts of the city, there are places that are prohibited from shooting, starting with the office, like government offices, uh, sometimes the banks, they are prohibited from shooting or taking photos around the bank's areas. And also some other companies, you'll see that they are written no photos allowed or no videos, no photography allowed. So you always have to be careful where you're taking photos or where you're shooting videos when you are, you are in Kenya, mostly in Nairobi City because there are police everywhere. And of course, you don't want them harassing you. Because I've seen people being harassed of shooting in areas that are prohibited and also not 
like most Kenyans are not used to cameras and they might end up harassing you a little bit because maybe you're shooting them some of them think that you're shooting them or something so or maybe if you go to a place and a soldier tells you like no you're not supposed to shoot to, at this area and they maybe don't have a sign that you're not supposed to shoot just don't if someone stops you and just go in and shoot in other areas so be careful of shooting in prohibited areas because you don't want to be on the wrong side another thing that you should not do and uh, it's not like it's illegal but you should not do just for your safety do not cross roads while while on your phones like it's drivers here they are like i don't know if it's stress or something but crossing roads when you're, you're in while you on your phone in kenya i would not advise that because you always have to be careful always have to like i always tell myself this i always remind myself this on this road i'm the same one because everyone is going through a lot so that is something that you know i sh thought i should let you know don't cross roads while on your phones in kenya or when you're using your phone or when you're texting you just you need all your mind like all your mind to be there when you're trying to cross roads here in kenya another thing is do not be afraid to visit downtown i know previously people used to call or they still do call nairobi nairobari but that's not really the case like nairobi is not it's it's very safe to visit nairobi very safe even for like solo female travelers or for any solo traveler it's very safe for you to visit nairobi downtown go and enjoy you know and have experience of the downtown get to connect with the locals and enjoy your stay here don't let anything scare you uh just watch some videos on youtube on other youtubers they are just walking in downtown just by themselves even at night as long as it's not that late at night because sometimes in Nairobi they, there's always people no matter what time of the night but yeah i wouldn't recommend you to be walking around past 10 by yourself if you're not a local but yeah it's very safe for you to walk around downtown during the day and also if you're a content creator very safe for you to make content around there yeah so do not miss to visit nairobi downtown for your experience okay another thing is do not criticize kenyans or point out its shortcomings like you know like the last time i watched i was googling and i happened to see that kenyans were nicknamed the keyboard warriors when it comes to online bullying so most Kenyans don't like, don't take critics like in a positive way. Some of them take it in as much as you might sometimes be saying it like from a good heart or you're not trying to make someone feel bad. There's just a way that most of us take things very like personally, you know. Yeah, and it's just, just don't criticize them. That is something like, for us Kenya, we might criticize our own country, but it comes out badly or some people get it badly when it's a foreigner doing it and it, they might get offended or take it as an insult. Yeah, so just telling you on that and watch out on that. It's okay. It's not like they're going to fight you or something. They're just going to be offended some, not all but some yeah another thing is do not go drinking alcohol on the streets like if a police catches you you're gonna be in for it some people do it and i've seen some of my friends being arrested for doing that so it's something that you should not do because you know when you're traveling you're always like overexcited and everything and you want to try everything so yeah just make sure you're not going drinking like you know when you have alcohol in a bottle and you're walking drinking in the streets it's illegal here in kenya because you get arrested if you get arrested for that it means that it's illegal yeah another thing is do not apply drone 
without the right to documents. Yeah, you have fly drones here in Kenya without the right to documents. It's okay to bring a drone, I guess, but you have to do so much research. And also for you to get everything that you need, you have to like just reach out to Civil Aviation Authority in Kenya for you to know what to do and not what to do or either to bring a drone or not to bring a drone when you're coming to Kenya because you need to have your right documents or else you might end up losing your drone and of course you don't want that happening to you so always try to be in the know when you want to bring a drone to Kenya another point is and actually this makes me angry sometimes because people think that we all Africans are the same yeah, we all the same because we are black. Is that why you all think we're the same? Yeah, anyway, I get you. So this point, do not assume what Africans, African people are the same. There's a great variety of distinct cultures and ethnicities across the continent. Like we have different cultures, like we speak different languages. Like for me, I would not understand someone from Rwanda when they speak Rwandese. And someone from Rwanda, if I'm speaking my native, my local language, which is Kikuyu, they're not going to understand me. I'll not understand what someone from Ghana, someone from Ivory Coast, because we are very, we are so different. Even our cultures are very different. And some people get to, they tend to get annoyed when you're trying to like view us as the same, you know, like comparing Kenyan to Tanzania and like, some of them don't take it very, they take it very personal and get offended. I don't know if it gets me, but yeah, that's it. So those are the 20 points that I heard of don'ts of visiting Kenya. If you have more, maybe write down on the comment section for the Kenyans that are watching. Or if you visited Kenya and there's something that you thought was legal and you found that it was illegal to do in kenya while you traveling here tell me on the comment section and also if you visited kenya before please let me know your experience down below on the comment section tell me how did you like it how are you treated by the locals how are you treated by the immigration officers did you have any encounter with police here in kenya I just want to know your experience. How was the place that you stayed? How was the internet? How was, did you head water all through in the area that you stayed? Was electricity always there? Yeah, these are some of the things that I would like you to tell me on the comment section. And if you haven't visited Kenya yet and you want to visit my country and you need someone to help you, with some of the things that you're not sure about like a place where would be good for you to stay with a budget friendly price you know because most of you just know of these places like kilimani you know like uh westlands but of course there's so many places that you can stay in kenya so if you visit in kenya and you have no idea of what to do or where to stay where to go shop reach me out and i'll be your guide of course it's not for free at a price <laughs> yeah because i'll be taking my time to do that and of course you know time is money <laughs> i hope you get me so yeah i hope you've enjoyed this video guys this is gonna be the end of today's episode if you watched to this point and you haven't subscribed to this channel please consider subscribing also don't forget to leave a like comment and share my videos and don't miss the next episode whereby i'll be giving you the cost of living in kenya this probably being nairobi city and yeah till the next episode peace